Defining the objective of your Facebook ad is very important because the objective is going to set the pace for your entire advertising campaign. So everything else is going to be based around what your objective is. Now, some people get really puzzled and unclear about precisely what they want their Facebook ad to achieve. And you need to have a clear objective in mind for your ad. After all, if you don't know what you want, how do you know when you've got it? So you need to define this from the start. And actually, Facebook do make this very easy for you. So let me just give you an example here just to illustrate the point. Now, one potential objective would be to get direct conversions. And a conversion counts as someone going through the action that you want them to. So let's say the objective is someone clicking on your Buy Now button and buying your $10 ebook on the Ultimate Total Body Workout. And when the sale has gone through, that's a conversion. So it's making a direct sale from your website via a Facebook ad. Fairly straightforward. So what you do for this ad is you would target people who were in their 20s or 30s or perhaps older who listed the gym or fitness as a hobby in their Facebook profile. Next, you would create an ad that would show either in the sidebar or in their home feed. And in this ad, you will broadcast very clearly what it was you were selling and how much you were selling it for. So you will want to have a nice eye-catching ad. You'd want to have a picture of the uh, ebook cover. You'd want to have a nice graphic, perhaps showing somebody working out like we did in the last slide. You will want to just sort of have something that would scream out to anybody who saw it that exactly what this ebook was about. So you could eliminate anybody who didn't want to buy it, you see, because this is where Facebook advertising can be a little different from other forms of advertising in terms of approach. Now, in the past, you might have learned to save the price until right at the end after you've already convinced the person to learn all about your product and to buy. And this is known as the ADA approach, which stands for Awareness, Interest, Desire, Action. Now, in pay-per-click marketing, because this is the version of uh, Facebook marketing we're going to focus mostly on, you're trying to avoid clicks just as much as you're trying to encourage them. And you don't want people clicking on your ads unless there is some chance that they might be actually willing to buy. And this is very important. Otherwise, you're going to lose your ROI, which stands for return on investment, because obviously there is a cost every time somebody clicks on your ad. So you don't want people clicking on your ad, going through your website, reading about your ebook, thinking, no, this isn't what I want. Um, I'm looking for an ebook on flower arranging or something like that. And then simply clicking away because then you've lost that amount of money that it's cost you. So you want to make sure that it's an investment, not an expense. People click, you pay, but they go to your site and they like the ebook and they buy it. That's the ultimate objective. So you'll make your ad with a headline that very clearly says something like, get the ultimate total body workout ebook for just $10. And this technique will work because anyone who doesn't want an ebook or isn't prepared to pay $10 won't click. So if someone wants a video, they're not going to click. Someone wants a free ebook, they're not going to click. So this means you can afford to increase your CPC and have your ad seen more often. And it also means you increase your chances of being seen by someone who does potentially want to pay $10 for your ebook. In turn, 
That will increase the percentage of clicks that result in a conversion. Objective obtained. Now exactly what the objectives of your Facebook advertising campaign are will impact heavily on the approach that you use and will also be intertwined with everything from your cost per click to your maximum budget and to your ad design. Because obviously if it's a $10 ebook, you don't want to pay more than $10 a click because you'll be losing money. And Facebook actually lets you set your goals right from the start. And the options that they give you are fairly wide ranging and comprehensive. And these cover improving engagements of a post, getting more likes for your Facebook page, getting more clicks or leads for your website, getting more installs for an app, promoting your event or offer. And Facebook's evolving all the time, so they may have added more by the time you see this. Now, the more closely you define your objective, the greater your chance of achieving success with Facebook ads.